I showed up to a South Austin gym, yes and by gym I mean weightlifting heat cranked up gym, to cover what I thought would be a diverse panel of those involved in Fantastic Fest. Little did I know that what I was getting into was one of a kind debate, combining trivial yet important topics and the element of actual physical boxing into an anything but neat package called the Fantastic Debates. Fantastic Fest, in its 10th year, held its 10th annual Fantastic Debate, an event part of the festival where directors, actors, writers, and always Alamo Drafthouse creator Tim League come to argue and fight. I was there to take you inside this event and provide for you a play-by-play. -play. This year featured four different pair-ups narrated by the one and only Owen Egerton. First up in the ring, Josh Ether versus Joe Lynch. It's not a boxing match without a good entry. Josh, with the classic hardcore rock entrance, followed by Joe with a more ska-inspired, trumpet-blaring entrance into the ring. Joe and Josh are faced with the question of whether cowboys are better than samurais or vice versa. Josh takes on the position of defending cowboys while Joe takes on defending samurais. First up to the plate is two minutes on the clock for Josh. Josh says that cowboys, in fact, are better because they are the foundation of this country. Joe defends his argument by saying, why would you cross a samurai? One with a sword. He could take you out in a couple swings. The two finally feel that enough words have been said and they decide to take it to the mat. Time to shred some blood and tears. First, they throw punches. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. In the end, when the crowd is asked who they think is the winner, it doesn't come down to punches and blows, it comes down to the argument, because we're dealing with a very intellectual audience, to say the least. The crowd screams in favor of Joe's argument, saying that samurais are in fact better. To prove girls are just as strong as boys, next round is a woman-on-woman -woman fight, featuring Jenny and Maria. Jenny enters the ring all patriotic with an American flag, while Maria takes a more Skrillexy head banging approach. Both are ready to fight. The two are ruthless fighters, but who wouldn't be faced with their question of whether literature should be adapted into films? Jenny takes on the position that literature should not be adapted to films, saying when they are, films like Twilight and Harry Potter happen as Maria defends it, saying that such great works are turned into film, such as The Shawshank Redemption and Gone with the Wind. Words are thrown, but mostly movie titles are thrown around, trying to defend each other's points. The two finally decide to take it to the ring and throw some blood-curling punches. Well, no blood was actually seen in this fight, but they are ruthless fighters. They fight just like two cats in an alley. In the end, though, the crowd goes wild for Maria, saying that, yes, literature should be adapted into films. It's safe to say that the event is a favorite for many of the festival, and that when it comes to Fantastic Fest, they have some fantastic fans.